Hey, what's going on? This is Sunshine. And E. All right. Stepping ahead here, YouTubers. Mr. E, how you doing? Hey, what's going on? How's it going? How's it going? Step how you doing ahead. tonight? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Hopefully, I'm going to get a little laughs in. We're going to do a little comedy today, so get a little laughs in. And especially, I like I like uh, getting to ones I've never heard before, and this one I've never heard before, but I don't want to get too crazy into it. But, uh, um, it's dealing with... Okay, let's start that over. Okay, dealing with your arrogant sport sports star kids. kids. Oh, that's good. That's a good, that's good. We had some kids go My through. Ali Sadiq. Sadiq. Yeah, I wonder how his delivery is because when, when you first look at him right now, what do you do you think of a certain comedian? Um no, I think of um Not necessarily him in general, just the picture in general. No. Bill Cosby in his early years did a lot of stand up sitting down. <laughs> you know, so that's kinda you kind of hold the mic like he did years ago, so you kind of put it in mind. Bill didn't seem to have a stool, but he used to have a chair. But we'll go on. Let's get into here. But before we do, do me a favor. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also share and comment below. Let's get into these arrogant sports star kids. I don't, I don't, I don't lie about my kids. I just keep my kids where they are. I have a daughter. She's a beautiful kid, but she's insane. <laughs> Very much insane. Because, see, she's been doing, she's a swimmer. I'm just going to tell you that. She's a swimmer, which is not a predominantly black sport. Let me tell you something. Because when you go to swimming, when you're a black parent, you go to swimming, they know that you're there because you're there. <laughs> you're like an like a Oreo. Just, you're, just in, you're just out there. So, my daughter's very arrogant now because she didn't want a lot of races. And, you know, when um, we first started swimming, I used to think that the kids were saying a little racist stuff about my baby because she would walk in and they were like, oh, my God, they go to Black Seal. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Don't be calling my baby no damn Black Seal. <laughs> then this white dude said, no, no, man, it means that she really fast. Oh. Got me out there rooting. Go, Black Seal. <laughs> <laughs> black Seal. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem with my daughter is this. I've been tracking this little white girl named Sarah Brown. Been tracking Sarah. I think Sarah's really fast. Know all her numbers. Know all her tracking. My daughter's very arrogant. She don't even carry her stuff out the truck no more. She just get out the truck and just walk into the pool like I'm her assistant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking in with all her bags. <laughs> So you can hold the door or nothing? <laughs> I'm walking in and I hear my daughter say something crazy to Sarah Brown. Say, hey, Sarah. Yeah, I know we gonna race, but I'll be out the pool dry about time you finish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening. I'm like, woo. <laughs> Got me all hype. I'm walking in with all this stuff. Yeah, Sarah. Dry. Dry. <laughs> you heard her dry, Sarah. I don't believe my daughter at all. <laughs> Cause I know this little white girl is for real. Race happens. Race happens. My daughter lose the race. Uh -oh. Come in second to Sarah Brown. Uh -oh. Come up to me crying. <laughs> Daddy, I lost the race. I'm like, hey, it's like that sometime, Black Seal. <laughs> <laughs> you was up against a great white. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> People kill for love. I don't want to be killed. For look, cause see, it's trigger words for me. Trigger words in a relationship, in the beginning, if somebody say, you know, I love hard. Ooh, that's crazy. <laughs> cause it don't sound like that to me. It sounds good to you, 
I love hard. To me, it's not like, you gonna be on cold cases? <laughs> <laughs> if you're in a relationship with somebody and they say this to you, I can't live without you. Oh no, oh no, oh, <laughs> I no. Break it up, I'm gonna find a way to get out of that relationship. Break it up, <laughs> that day. Hey, that, cause that sound like I can't leave you. You can't live without me, so I can't go. That sound like forensic files. <laughs> <laughs> you about to be on the news, boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, you don't want them kind of Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> those those kids sports, that's it's, it's really, really in the last maybe twenty years have been really getting serious, man. I mean, they are offering, you know, kids out of high school wanna offer them sneaker deals, all kind I mean just scholarships before they even get out to you know, the seventh grade. <clears throat> but um it's fun when you think back and you live that time and you spend that time, you watch kids do certain things and different uh, achievements that they do. That's, that's good, but it can be uh, kind of, uh, they can, I just, I find that usually, I don't, I don't really have too much problem with the kids, usually it's the parents that usually have issues with, that I found that you have issues with because they, they treat them like they're, you know, professional, like they're getting paid to do it. And so, you know, you run into that problem. But Yeah, parents get really serious in some yeah. of them games. And we had them chewing when our, our boys were in sports. Yeah. And our daughter, too, you know. Right. You know, then when they was all in sports, you know, parents, ooh, ready to go down to beat the referee. And, and, <laughs> and, 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 and it's <laughs> funny because everybody. <laughs> these are parents that, don't want to do it. They don't want to volunteer to be a coach. They don't want to be a volunteer to be assistant. They don't want to drop the kid. They barely drop them off. Drop them off. Come and pick them up later. But they get at the games and they're the professional football coach now all of a sudden. But mm -hmm. you know, that's how it goes. But hopefully the kids won't be damaged by that and they'll get some uh, structure out of that and have some good times, things they can look back on and uh, be fond of or have some fond memories. You might kind of like what you said. I mean, if it's a true story about his daughter, you're mm -hmm. saying that, um, you know, she came in. You know, all proud. Like mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm, I got this. Right. You know, hopefully she didn't break down too bad. Right, she right. Lose. <laughs> that part's good. It should hopefully it just make her work a little harder and, and stay the course. So I mean, but uh, sometimes you, especially at that age, you know, you kind of need some of them at even older ages need that kind of reality check sometimes. So yeah, that's true. But um, but do us a favor before we get out. If you can please just like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, also share. And ultimately, if you can comment below, give us some more good uh, uh, comedians to listen to, especially new ones, because I like to, because I've never heard him before. So that's that's good if we get somebody new. But until then, so make sure you comment below. I do believe that's it. That is it. Thanks for listening to, to Sunshine, Sunshine and E. e.